Hi Taurus, this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of March 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus and it is a general reading so it's not going to resonate for all of you um, but if you'd like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So, let's see, Taurus, what is going on with you in love? First couple weeks of March. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right. First card out, we have the Empress crossed by the Lovers. Ooh, okay. Um, somebody's trying to make a choice here. Um, I definitely feel like there is a very strong love connection here. Um, it could be you who's trying to make this decision, um, being that we have the Empress, or at least whoever is holding the more feminine energy possibly, not necessarily. It does feel like, I feel like if this is you, you're, you're really beginning to find more of your own empowerment. Now, there is though a choice here. Um, that's just what I'm picking up on. Let's see. We'll see more when we clarify. For you, we have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of a commitment here. Um, it could be two separate energies, like there could be something that is very secure, very stable, and then there could be something else from the past that you have a lot of nostalgia for. For some of you, it's going to be both, all right? That it, it's one and the same. And then we have the Ace of Swords right in the middle here. So there is either some kind of action that you're either taking or thinking about taking in terms of either a reconciliation or in terms of somebody from your past in whatever shape or form. Um, it could definitely be a marriage for some of you that you're dealing with here. Let's see, for them we have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so again, I mean, roles can definitely be reversed, okay? Um, this person holds a lot of love here for you. Not just a lot of love, it's like pure, unconditional love. Um, it also feels like they're either stalling, procrastinating, or they're waiting on you, one or the other. And either way, they're having a little bit of a hard time just coping with this. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Two of Cups. That's beautiful. That's love. So that's definitely a potential here. Um, we do have Gemini showing up, so some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Definitely could be any sign, though. Let's see. Let's clarify this Empress with the Lovers. All right, we have Death, the Six of Swords, and the Hermit. Wow, okay, Scorpio and Virgo also appearing here. Um, there is some kind of an ending here. And it's either an ending that you're trying to really deal with, because like I said, um, I feel like you at least, you're finding your own sense of empowerment here, here. There is still a choice though that's like lingering. It's still there. It hasn't really been made just yet. Um, and I feel like this, this decision that needs to be made, it will require an ending to something. Whether it be with this connection here or whether it be with something else. And I do get that you're moving in that direction. It does feel like there is some kind of an ending here that's happening or there or something has already ended and it's a matter of um, moving away from it. I feel like you're, if this is you, okay, it could be the other person, of course. Um, I feel like if th this is what's hard, is actually moving away from this but it's like you're there's still something here there's still something here that hasn't been resolved possibly within your own self and that's why we have the empress here because i feel like 
you're moving in that direction of embodying that inner empress within you, right? But it, you're not like 100% there just yet, but you're moving along this path very, very efficiently, whether you realize it or not. Um, so it's really about being able to move on from this, from some kind of an ending here. And I do get that, you know, you're taking those first steps and that first step is here with the Hermit. Um, going within, processing it, and that's okay. Because I feel like you're, even if you are still in the situation, um, if this is you, again, it could be a, the other person here. Um, whoever this is, there's work that's happening underneath, even if they are still in this situation. So let's see for you, let's see the Four of Wands. The Hierophant, so that is, yeah, you, basically, and the Chariot. So Taurus energy showing up again, um, and Cancer. There's definitely a very, very strong commitment here. If it's not commitment, it's like some kind of a foundation, something that you either feel committed to or very strongly tied to. And it feels very formal. So that's why I said it could even be a marriage. And that's being confirmed to me with that, with this Hierophant, right? That it's just something very formal. It could even be... Um, just an example, it could even be like a religion or belonging to some kind of a religious community. It doesn't have to be religious. It could be just about anything. It could even be um, in terms of career or um, studying something, right? Going to school for something. Whatever it is, There's, it's formal. It's a big formal type of a commitment. And it almost feels like, you know, you're moving away from that or you're changing direction. So I don't know how this relates to this other person because this is meant to be a love reading. Um, but sometimes we do get other energies here, all right? And, and it could be indirectly related to this other person. Um, but yeah, it feels like you're trying to take a new direction from whatever, whatever that is here. Let's see the Ace of Swords. <laughs> the world. Okay, can this get any more clear? Um, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're putting in a lot of effort here to close out this cycle. Um, you are doing it. I, I do feel like, you know, it's not easy and that it's taking a little bit of time, but, but you are doing it. It's just, it's taking a bit of effort. Let's see the Six of Cups. All right, we have the sun, so that's Leo, and the two of pentacles. Okay, yeah, so maybe some of you are feeling nostalgic about a Leo, <laughs> for example. Um, again, it doesn't have to be. But there's definitely a soul connection here that you feel would bring you happiness. Or when you think of this connection, it, it's just very warm. It feels very warm to you. And it feels like this could be something very fulfilling. Um, for whatever reason though, because again, I feel like there is some kind of a decision here that's like still in the works, um, either from you or from them. Um, this is feeling, it's feeling a little bit overwhelming. It feels a little bit overwhelming for you in, in some way or for some reason here. You would know. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Ace of Cups. the Emperor, and the Ten of Swords. Uh, wow, okay, so we're getting a lot of major arcana cards here um, in your reading this time. So we also have Aries showing up here. But yeah, this person is feeling defeated. Um, they're feeling very hurt by this. This is somebody who might not be showing how they feel, either because they're holding back or they're just putting up a front, you know, just trying to really get get themselves together or just appearing like they really have themselves together but deep down there's a lot of pain here they feel like you know this is just the situation is is done or that you know there's just no no reviving it 
Um, so it's very painful for them. Let's see the Three of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Pentacles. It's, I see. So this person is not taking much action though, and I feel like the reason why is because I feel like they're waiting on you here with this Three of Pentacles. Um, and it, it's almost like they're trying to manifest this. They're trying to manifest some kind of um, some kind of a consensus. Like they want it to be mutual, or for whatever reason, they feel like they might feel like it needs collaboration. Almost like they they can't really do much on their own. All right, especially with this Emperor and the Ten of Swords, it's like they feel like they don't have control over this, and that actually the ball is in your court. So it feels like, you know, they would want to take some action towards you. Um, but they're waiting. They're waiting on you, trying to manifest some kind of teamwork or, you know, at least get some kind of a signal from you or some kind of a sign from you or something like that. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're too hopeful, even though they, like I said, you know, they have very deep emotions for you. Let's see that Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It's like this person wishes that they could take some action, move towards you, or wish that you would actually move towards them and take action towards them. And yeah, it's like, this is a really big wish. Um, also with the magician being here, like it, and the nine of cups, it's like wishing really hard for this, like really wanting to manifest this to the point where it's overwhelming for them as well, right? Just like, I, it's like you think back, I feel like this connection, it's, it's this connection, right? Um, with that six of cups, it's referring to this from, it, and I do feel like this one is from the past. What you are trying to leave behind or bring an ending to is, is a situation that is current. Again, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. Um, and it, when you think of this person, it feels overwhelming. And for them, this whole thing is overwhelming because they, they're just wishing so hard <laughs> for this. And I feel like they haven't really gotten, gotten much. Again, roles can be reversed, okay? Cannot stress that enough. Let's see the two of cups for the potential outcome here. Seven of swords, the hanged man, and the king of cups. It is taking a little bit of time. Um, whoever this is, I feel like, you know, whoever it is that needs to move towards the other person, like I said, in this reading, it's showing up as if it is you. Um, I feel like there might be a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of, you know, seeing it from one perspective and then trying to see it from another perspective, um, which is really just a means of procrastinating something. Um, but I feel like ultimately, you know, love wins, basically, King of Cups. Love wins. It's just taking a little bit of time. And again, you know, this might be for the other person. All right, because this reading is general, so it could go either way. Um, there's definitely the potential here. And even if it's for you, if it's not with this person, although I do feel like for most of you it is, somebody here that is from the past, um, there's love. There's love in the potential here for you. It feels like it's just taking a little bit of time because there's um, a lot of trying to weigh things out and it almost feels like overanalyzing. Um, Overanalyzing, which is take, which is what is delaying it a little bit. But again, love wins. All right, Taurus, let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. And we have the fixed moon. Hold your vision. Yeah, you have a vision for something. Um, 
And it's okay, you know, if it's taking a little bit of time, you know, if there are things, other things you need to close out, hold your vision and keep moving in that, in that path, even if it's, if it feels new and unknown to you. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.